Clarion University opened its doors in 1867 as Carrier Seminary, a training school for Methodist ministers as well as a finishing school for young women. The campus grew quickly to include a few hundred students. Clarion was designated a normal school in 1887 with its primary mission to prepare public school teachers. But not all growth came easily. When student activists caught wind of an alleged bribery and embezzlement scandal during the construction of the chapel in 1903, the students chiseled the stone heads of the founders off the front of Founders Hall. In addition to civic-minded students, Clarion has always been a military-friendly institution, first apparent with World War I. For each male student who enlisted, the women of Clarion State Normal School sewed one blue star onto this flag. By 1929, Clarion had expanded its curriculum to include four-year programs. In 1929, the average student took classes in orthography, Latin, Greek, and home economics. During the Great Depression, times were challenging, but the creative energy of President Paul Chandler found new sources of revenue, including the creation of an Army Cadet Flight School on campus in 1942. During this time in the history of Clarion, many pilots trained through that flight school. The post-war years saw tremendous growth for what was now called Clarion State College. By the late 1960s, the college became the first former normal school in the Commonwealth to offer the BA degree and the BS degree in business administration. Venango College also began operations in this decade. By the time we finally became Clarion University in 1982, we were firmly established as a preeminent institution of higher learning in Western Pennsylvania. In terms of athletics, national championships in swimming and diving, gymnastics and bowling, were matched by the success of the school's Division I wrestling program, which produced Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle, among others. Since the turn of the century, Clarion University has witnessed many changes, especially structurally. Chandler Dining Hall gave way to Eagle Commons, traditional residence halls gave way to the sweet style living, and yet we maintained our traditions and history throughout the years. Now it's your turn to make history at Clarion University. No matter 